right, next up we've got Undrip uh, presenting our Mick Hagen and Kaylin Sharp. Okay, oh, here we go. This is Undrip, baby, coming hot out the kitchen. It's Mick on the mic, so you might want to listen. I see you, Don Dodge. What's up, man? So my name is Mick Hagen. I'm the CEO and founder of Undrip. Undrip is a mobile community that helps you discover and share the gems of the web. So all of us here, we consume most of our content and consumption via social media, as expected. The problem is it's just way too noisy. Over 400 million tweets and over 4 billion Facebook posts every single day. That's not to mention Instagram, Pinterest, Quora, Tumblr, and all the other sites that we love. Oftentimes, the stuff that we most care about gets lost in stuff like this. I have no idea what she's saying. Or a new, a, an invite to some new game from my buddy on Facebook. What is this? And we're busy, right? We go to work, we hang out with friends, some of us try to sleep. We have less and less time to consume more and more information. The jibba jabba stops here. So what we're doing with Undrip is we're taking a slice of the existing behavior that happens on traditional social networks, that is sharing and curating really cool pieces of content from around the web, and we're building our own community with it. So no status updates, no check-ins, no game invites. It's all about sharing and discovering the most interesting and compelling content from around the web, noise-free, sort of like a path, but for links. Let's jump over to the iPad so we can see what we're talking about here. Let's jump over to the iPad so we can see what we're talking about here. I, I can finish the verse if I need to. Do I need a rap? All right. I'm hoping to, there we go. All right. So this is my undrip feed. We can imagine I just got home from a busy day at work and I'm browsing my feed. We're all busy here. I sold, I sold my last company to Chegg last fall. Some entrepreneurs seem to think I have all the answers. I don't, but I'll take the meeting, so I'm busy. I don't have time to be constantly monitoring my social feeds. With Undrip, I can connect my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Tumblr, and it'll analyze all the content that's coming through, and it'll surface the best stuff. That's amazing. We think social context is critical. So under every single piece of content, you'll see thumbnails. Those are my friends. Those are people who I know. I value their opinion. This is an interesting article right here. Jay-Z. I'm a big hip-hop fan, and I like basketball. And he's a part owner in the Brooklyn Nets, formerly New Jersey Nets. It talks about the impact he's making on the team with recruiting. I guess they just moved the arena just two blocks from his, where he grew up. The branding, the logos. It's a really interesting article. I would have missed that today. I'm happy that my buddy Joe shared it. So we can drill in and we can see which of my friends were talking about this piece of content. I can interact. And all the interactions will go back to the originating social networks. News isn't the only thing we consume, though, is it? Let's jump over to videos. So these are all the videos that my friends have been talking about and sharing. The Undrip algorithm will analyze my consumption habits. It'll analyze the relationships I have with my friends. It'll analyze the global, the local popularity. It'll have a number of factors and signals to making sure that I see the most interesting and relevant content. This video looks interesting. the kitchen. It's Mick on the mic, so you might want to listen. About to knock the socks off the competition. Biggest move I made since I dropped out of Princeton. What Google did for the web, which is create relevance and order to all the content out there, we're doing for the social web. Let's jump over to the photos section. So as I said, I'm, in, I'm interested in hip hop and basketball. I also love design. It makes sense that I'm seeing some of these photos here. The beauty of Undrip is I didn't have to say I'm interested in this, 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 and this. I didn't have to say, these are my circles of friends who I care about most. It's all implicit. And the, the big value of having social context, a big part of the algorithm, is that it introduces and allows for an element of surprise. I'm not interested in fashion, but this is a sweet Lego dress. My buddy Jess shared this, and I think it's awesome. I'm not pursuing content in fashion, but it allows for that surprise and serendipity. In fact, I like it so much, I want to tap drip. I want to reshare that. I'll add some social commentary. I can select which networks I want to share it out to, if any at all. 
and I can tap drip. I'm curating and sharing that really cool piece of content. What we care most about is who shared the content, not what's behind the content. And so we have a, an opportunity for the users to discover who are the tastemakers, who are the best curators on Undrip. And so a user can start to explore and learn about some of the other users on Undrip and decide if they want to follow their content. They can turn on their flow, and anything that that user shares will get mixed into the magic sauce. And if it's interesting and relevant, it'll come into your feed. Undrip has everything that you would want in a new age content discovery product. We leverage your existing social graph, your existing social content. We're optimizing for relevance, but we're open and happy to see serendipity. It's community driven, and probably most importantly, it's all mobile. We're on the iPhone, we're on the iPad, we're in the App Store. Go download us today. Android is coming very soon. Thank you very much. So, the first great question would be around yeah. distribution. How, how are you going to get this app to millions of users? That is a good question. And to be honest, there's no silver bullet with distribution. So I built a company called Zinch. We built a community. It took us a little bit to figure out what were the key value propositions so that users were using it and telling their friends about it. The good news is, so far in the early sort of private beta, is people are telling their friends. They're using it. It's valuable. It's working. But I, I got to be honest, there's no silver bullet with distribution. I mean, we're going to continue to iterate and optimize those, the viral hooks and Facebook open graph and unlocking this or that. But distribution's the, the thing we're all trying to figure out. Do you think that Facebook's going to see this and just say, well, why don't we just change our interface and make it a little bit more, a little nicer to look at? I don't think Facebook would want to introduce content from all the other networks. And so right now, we're integrated with Twitter, with Facebook, with Tumblr, with Instagram, with app.net. So I don't see Facebook going in that direction where they'll, well, they'll, they'll start pulling in some content from elsewhere. But you, you saw yourself that it's Facebook is 10x the Twitter following, and all the other ones are quite a bit smaller. Yeah, I mean, Facebook has a lot of sharing. But as we're seeing, it's not a zero-sum game. Obviously, Twitter has a lot of content. There's Instagram, there's Pinterest, there's Tumblr, there's Quora, there's this, there's that. I mean, the list goes on. Once, the argument could have been harder. But nowadays, there's just a lot of communities that we love. How are well, you thinking about monetization? Sorry. So, so monetization is a good question. We think because we'll be gathering so much info about users and their habits and their relationships as it spans different social networks, we think that'll be the most rich and complete data out there. We think there'll be ample opportunities with that data, whether it be retargeting, whether it be providing services or products for you know, analytics and big brands. So we think it'll be around the data. So I guess my question is, what are the inputs into this algorithm? Like, what are the inputs into the algorithm to determine what you're showing users? The, the beauty Where are you getting? The beauty of Undrip, unlike some other people who are trying to deliver content to you, it's all implicit. You don't have to say what your topics are. You don't have to say, these are my friends that I care about most. We'll analyze all that. How? Oh. We'll look at the relationships you have with your Facebook friends. We'll look at what you're tweeting. We'll look at the types of things that you're sharing. So it really How is will you look at what relationships you have? Well, when you give us permission to look at your Twitter feed and to look at your Facebook feed, we can see the types of things that you're sharing. We can see the, t the people who you're liking and commenting on. And so as we analyze your relationships and the content that you're sharing, that comes into the algorithm. Does that make sense, or still not happy? Some parts, but I'm not, I don't believe you get all that information. I think you get a subset of that information. We're building a consumer app so that as users use it, we will continue to gather more intelligence. You know, I, I look at this and I, I say, wow, it's a beautiful app, right? Like, you guys have Thank done you. a great job on the design. But I also look at the seven other sort of content following apps. I've got Flipboard, I've got Pulse, I've got all these different sort of apps that help me better consume content in different ways. And I, I'm, the question I would have as a user is, why do I need another one? Why do I need this one compared to the other four yeah, or five? That's a great question. And, and, and therein lies the distribution question to, you know, what Mike asked is, why would I need yet another sort of following news consumption, information consumption app? If, if you don't have a noise problem, then you might be right. You might just be happy with Facebook, happy with Twitter. You're I mean, sort of I, seeing all the I, links. I have an shared. app noise problem, right, with like, you know, the 45 apps that I already have in oh, my you're right. We all have the app noise problem. I, we're not trying to solve that problem. But back to the Flipboard and a few of those other things, we're not just news, right? We're all media. And we're not just topic-based. We're community-driven. I see Flipboard and some of the other news readers as hanging out at Barnes & Noble, hanging out at the magazine rack, 
uh, th there's nothing social about that. You don't see faces, that, you, don't, you don't see the friends who are talking about what stories. They just put a skin on social networks. We use algorithms to make sure that you, you'll actually see the most interesting stuff. But, but I've got Facebook for my social apps and Twitter for my social apps, and then now I have one that aggregates all of them? We're bringing it all, like we said, there's no status updates, no games. We're taking out all the noise, and we're building a community just for sharing the really cool stuff that we all find online, sort of the act of curating a really cool link. So it's community de dedicated to just that. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Any other questions? I've got questions, <laughs> or comments, I guess. Uh, so I guess one of the issues that I think Ruchi was kind of getting at is that Facebook and Twitter inherently have an advantage because they know what users are clicking on, whereas you don't, unless you're using your, I mean, you have to already have the link shared through your platform so you can apply your own link shortener, right? So how are you going to, I mean, couldn't Facebook conceivably launch exactly this uh, as like its own standalone application? Yeah, I mean, as, as long as the Quora's of the world and the Instagram's of the world and the Pinterest's of the world continue to come, which they will, uh, I think we're going to get exhausted of going from one to the other, one top news feed to another top news feed. We deduplicate the content, we deduplicate the relationships, and we make sure you're seeing the absolute best stuff up top. And my second question, uh, do you guys intend to launch like an undrip network? I've seen similar apps like this. So that is, that, that's the big difference, is we're a community. I mean, you can share things on Undrip that you can elsewhere. Okay. You can follow people on Undrip that you can elsewhere. We're, we want to create a really good single player experience, but we think the real value is, is the network and the community. Okay. All about the social context. So you're building a new graph, right? We are, okay. yeah. All right, that is it for me. I don't know if you guys are cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> no, no extra lip with Undrip. Get a grip. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.